Well, speaking of sanctions on North Korea, South Korea's National Intelligence Service briefed the National Assembly about its findings and Japan's reported violation of UN Security Council sanctions on North Korea. Intelligence officials also uh, filled in lawmakers on the latest going ons in Pyongyang. Kim Mogyeon reports. In a closed door briefing to the National Assembly's Intelligence Committee, National Intelligence Service Chief Seo Hoon said that several foreign flagged ships suspected of carrying North Korean coal were detected coming in and out of Japan's ports. According to opposition party lawmaker Lee Yun Jae, who was in the meeting, at least three suspected ships have been found making port calls in Japan recently. So NIS explained that by looking at a website, they analyzed the shipping information. The rich glory, the shining rich, and the Jin Long have been detected entering Japan's Naha and Noshiro ports. Last year, the Seoul government banned these ships from entering South Korea as they were confirmed to have brought North Korean resources to the South. The spy agency also said that despite its warning that the ship's entry is a clear violation of UN sanctions resolutions, Japan is still allowing the entry and not actively taking appropriate measures. During the meeting, the National Intelligence Service also touched upon the latest Seoul Pyongyang Washington summit, calling it a significant event that boosted stalled denuclearization talks. It said that North Korea's Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho and First Vice Minister Choi Sun-hee prepared for the trilateral summit with the help of the Workers' Party's Unification Front Department. In the upcoming Pyongyang-Washington talks, the NIS told the committee that preparations for working-level negotiations are ongoing and that it's likely that the U.S. Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began and former North Korean ambassador to Vietnam Kim Myung-gil will lead the talks. Concerning reports that claim North Korean nuclear negotiator Kim Hyuk-chul had been executed as punishment for the failed Hanoi summit, the NIS said Kim appears to be alive. Meanwhile, the NIS also reported that Pyongyang has been suffering economically due to the ongoing international sanctions. It said that Pyongyang's trade volume dropped to 2.8 billion U.S. dollars in 2018, which is nearly half of the figure on year, and that its trade deficit increased by 17.5 percent. The NIS reportedly added that no unusual movement has been detected at the North's major nuclear facilities. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.